Hello and welcome to the First Year Lab. This video is designed to give you a bit of an orientation to the First Year Lab before you attend your first lab session so that you know what to expect. I'm Dr Elizabeth Anksman and I'm the First Year Physics Director. This is Seb Fricker and he's one of the lab demonstrators in the First Year Lab. In, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be playing the part of a laboratory demonstrator and Seb is going to be playing the part of one of the students. So before you come to your first laboratory exercise, it's really important that you complete the laboratory safety induction online. This has got little videos through it and it's a quiz just to make sure that you know about all the safety in the lab. The lab is a safe work environment, but you do need to know about what risks are involved with these experiments. You also need to attempt the introductory experimentation pre-work test online. I recommend that before attempting this test, you attend your first problem solving workshop, unless you're in Phys 1141, because this first workshop is going to cover uncertainties, and so it'll be a good introduction to this topic. You may then want to make sure that you complete that first question in your lab book before coming to the first lab, where you can get some help from the demonstrators if you need it. So when you come to the lab, what you need to bring is your laboratory manual, which may have a slightly different coloured cover. You'll also need to bring a ruler, a pencil, a pen, calculator and your student card. Now the most important thing to bring is covered shoes. You won't be allowed into the laboratory unless you're wearing these covered shoes because it's a room requirement and we're not legally allowed to let you in. If you don't bring covered shoes, you won't be allowed into the lab and you'll need to book a catch-up lab to cover that exercise at another time. For this course, you do not require a lab coat or safety goggles. The only safety equipment you need for physics is the covered shoes. So if you do need to book a catch-up lab because you're late and not allowed into the lab or you miss a lab for some reason, you'll be able to book a catch-up lab online the week before the catch-up labs are scheduled to run. So for Physics 1A, the catch-up labs run during weeks 8 and 13. So during week 7 and week 12, you'll be able to book in the catch-up lab online. Now, if you miss an experiment because you're sick, there's a missed experiment for medical reasons form that you can complete. You can also find a copy of it in the back of your lab manual. You should just bring this to the staff at the equipment hatch in the laboratory and you'll then receive your average mark for that laboratory exercise and you won't be required to catch it up. Alternatively, you can just book a catch-up lab and catch it up if that's what you'd prefer. So what we're going to do now is show you what to expect in a, during a laboratory session. When you arrive at the lab, look at the board in the front of the lab to see which half of the lab you're scheduled in for that week. When it's time to enter, a demonstrator will come and invite you to enter. Please wait outside the lab until this happens. Okay, the lab's about to start. Would you like to come in now, please? Good. Good. Oh, sorry, sorry, you can't come into the lab today because of that footwear. You'll need to book a catch-up lab oh. and do the lab another week. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay. When you arrive at the lab, go to an empty desk and unpack your bag. Once 
Once your bag's unpacked, please put it on one of the shelves under the desk so that it is not a trip hazard. You'll then need to wait for your demonstrator in charge to give you a talk about the laboratory exercise. Once this has been completed, you'll be asked to go get your equipment from the hatch. Please go get your equipment now. When you do this, you'll need to hand over your student card. Take the equipment back to your desk. Unpack the box, taking careful note of how the equipment is in the box so that you can return it in the same state. And then place the empty yellow box on one of the shelves underneath the desk to keep it out of the way during the experiment. If you need to use the computer for the laboratory exercise, you'll need to log into the computer. The login is your student number with a Z. The password is then the same thing, your student number with a Z. We encourage you to use Excel on the computer for analysing data, but you need to make sure that all raw results are recorded in your lab manual, not just your partner's lab manual, they need to be in your lab manual as well. Remember that the demonstrators are here to help you. If there's something that you don't understand in the laboratory exercise, then you should put up your hand and ask for some help. Could I please get some help here? I don't quite understand this. Okay, so what's happening here is we've got the gravitational force acting down and the spring force acting up, and they need to be balanced. Ah, okay, yes, thank you. As you work through the laboratory exercise, there's checkpoints in your laboratory manual where you should get your demonstrator to check your work. Excuse me, could you please check me off for the first part? I think I'm done. Great. Yeah, this looks like that'll work. Let me just tick you off at the back here. Great, okay, you can go on to the next part now. Okay, thank you. Ten minutes before the end of your allotted lab time, the demonstrators will ask you to pack up the equipment. This is because we need to get you out of the lab on time so that the next class can start on time and they can also have the full two hours. Okay guys, sorry, there's 10 minutes left now. You're going to need to pack up and return your equipment, please. When you pack up the equipment, please make sure that you do it neatly and that you're returning all the equipment in exactly the same state as you collected it from the hatch. you've returned the equipment, put up your hand so that the demonstrators will come and mark your work for you. Yeah. Good work, that looks right. Good, you've got all those values. Yeah, nice straight line there. 
good work. Those are in agreement. The only problem is you've left the units off here. Mm, okay, yeah. So, sorry, but you lose half a mark here for these units. So you're getting 9.5 for this laboratory exercise. Yeah, can you please just complete your name and student number just before I enter it into the iPad here? There we go. Thank you. Okay, so what was yeah, your, your Frico? Okay, I'll just enter your mark here. Now, that should be uploaded to Moodle during this week. So just check it before your next okay. laboratory yep. exercise. It'll just be in the grades yes. section. If your lab mark hasn't appeared before your next laboratory exercise, please show your demonstrator in the next lab so that this can be rectified. Okay, you're free to go now. Oh, thank you. So we hope that you find this video a useful orientation to the lab and that you enjoy your first year physics lab experience. Okay guys, see you soon in the lab.